What's up guys, happy droid development. Um, got a quick video to show you. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be quick. Um, this one is about the getting my app, the Spirit Box app, on your Windows PC. I've had a lot of people asking, you know, can you do one for Windows? Um, I've not actually done any apps for Windows for a long, long time. I think it, the last app I ever made was for Windows 98. So that's going back quite a while. Um, I did do some stuff for Windows XP, but just little silly things. Um, so I'm a bit rusty, that kind of stuff at the minute. But I will, I will try, and I will try and get this on Windows properly. Because I think that, that, that would expand things a little bit for the people that can't use it. But for now, this might be a solution for you. So if you don't have an Android device, or you can't run it on your device that you have, or if it lags or whatever, this might be something that you can use until you bring out the, the offline version or bring out a Windows version. This 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 is actually quite ideal. Um, the program is called Bluestacks. I'll leave the link below so you can go and get it. It's free. Um, there is a little tiny, any any little little catch. The catch is every couple of days or week or so. It just depends how many times you use it, but I, f I figure every week um, you'll get a little pop up when you start the app, and it'll say to keep it free. You know, download these. I think it's four apps it downloads. Um, so you you click yeah, download the apps, and it, it'll keep it free. So it installs apps, and that's that. You can go in the the folder and just delete them again. It's no problem. Um, it downloads them to the app itself. It doesn't install on your PC, so there's no big you know, it's not a problem. You can either leave them on there or delete them. It's not a problem. So what this app actually does, um, blue stacks. Where are you? Right. That's what the the program looks like, and that's your app folder. So all your apps go in there, in the app folder, right there, and that's the program. Um, I'll leave in the description the link for that. Plus, um, in case you don't want to tie your Google account or you don't have a Google account, um, I'll leave the APK for the latest version in the description as well. And you just download them, both of them, install BlueStacks. I'm sure you all know how to install a program, it's pretty simple. It does take a while to install. So bear with it. it, it does take about 10 minutes to get on your machine. It's just because, well, I think the first time you actually run it, it doesn't take that long. I think if you delete it, then install it again, it installs all your apps back on there like how it was. So I think that's why it took me about 10 minutes. But, let it run, let it install. It does, it does take a little, a little bit of time, so just let it install. And what this actually does is it basically creates an emulation of an Android device on your Windows PC. So you can run things like Candy Crush, you can run your favourite apps, um, you do have on your phone. And also if you've got a Google account you, you can get your paid apps on here, what you've already got. So that's quite cool as well, so if you've bought any games or anything you can, you can run it on here as well. Um, it won't run extremely intensive games, you know, like Minecraft, things like that. It doesn't run anything like that, uh, but it does run like Candy Crush. KD, all that kind of good stuff, um, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, so, anyways, if you've got a Windows 8 PC like mine, and if it's touchscreen, it's pretty cool, because in your, where is it, in your main screen, the app will go on your, your tile thing, um, like that, so it looks kind of like what it does on your Android device. So these are the apps I've got in at the minute. Um, I've got the text-to-speech thing because that doesn't come with the app itself. So if you want to hear, you know, the computer voice, you um, you are connecting, all that kind of stuff. You, you need this to make that work. Otherwise, you won't hear nothing. Um, so uh, yeah, you just start start it. If you just want to run the app, you want to run, just start it up, and that loads right into the app you want right away. No big deal. It takes a little minute to, to work, but depending on the speed of your computer, this might be faster, might be slower. Um, my my computer is quite new, so you are connected. it does work quite fast, and you still need internet connection for this. 
but everything works on here which is cool everything everything that's on here works um, just like it would on your your device so start that up and you know Bank one selected. if you don't have the text to speech thing on here you won't hear nothing when you press those that's the only thing that doesn't kind of work but you do hear the thing if, if you've used that already you don't really need all that but just for demonstration purposes I'll go through the how it works again so basic setup now this this is kind of left where I think works best um, so all you really have to do is come in here press English to go back and start but when it's on your PC it does need a little longer um, I find about 400 kind of works really well um, it's just because the connection time is a little bit longer um, just because it's not quite on par with an actual Android device but it, 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 it works, it gets a job done so back out there if you don't want blender mode on that's cool but I suggest you keep all that off because I mean it is a little bit slower than your your regular device but it, it, sh it should handle a bit, it'll make it a little bit slower, it might lag it a little bit more um, so when you're done just start it and it works just like how it would on your Android device it does sweep a little bit slower, that's the only thing, but it's not that bad, I mean it's not, it was like, it's like going back to like version 2.6 where it was a little bit slower than what it is now, um, so if you can put up with that, I mean it's ideal, I mean it still works, I've tested it and I still get responses and stuff, and it's quite cool, so back out there, and that's that. Um, everything works. I mean, it works just like what we do on your phone. Um, the only thing is, if you don't have a touch screen, you have to use your your mouse. Where is it? See, it it, it reacts with your mouse, so you can still still use it even if you don't have a touch screen. But if you've got the touch screen, it's just like using your device. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Um, I use this all the time because I love it. I love having Candy Crush. And I hate playing, uh, playing the the web version because it's not not as not as fun as the app version. I find that version to be a little bit better, but it's just preference really. Um, I mean, you can run all sorts of stuff in here. It's quite cool. Um, for instance, um, uh, quit out of here. Oh, the back button quits out, doesn't it? Sorry, I'm looking through the camera viewfinder. <laughs> uh, and you can run it full screen as well. You don't have to keep it... Um, it opens up full screen. So you, it's just like having a Android device on your computer. It's pretty awesome. Um, also, I've got another app. I don't know if any of you are interested in it. It's um, British Radio. Um, this is where I got the idea from to get IP radio on to make a ghost box. It was actually this app. Um, I made this a long time ago, um, and it's only just been put on Android, um, the App Store, about six months ago. Uh, I'll quickly demonstrate for you. This is British radio from all different parts of Britain. So, if anybody's interested in our music, <laughs> our style music, it's pretty cool, and it's like an iOS type of deal. You just swipe up and pick your, pick your station. I'm not going to play it for copyright reasons, but you get the idea. You just click on it and it connects. And it, you can also run that in the background. It's pretty cool. So you can switch your device off and it'll still play your music. And so that's pretty awesome. I just thought I'd show you that. That's where I got the idea to make the, the spirit box. Um, so it's pretty funny. I actually had that on here because I didn't know I, di I didn't know I actually had that on here. Um, you can even run Showbox, which is pretty awesome. That's another video. <laughs> I'm not going to go into Showbox, but anyway, that was just to get you guys aware of how how to get this on your PC. Um, I will try to get one for the PC properly, but I mean this this is a good alternative if you you don't have an Android device. Or or it doesn't work that well for you. 
I mean, you could try that and see if that works. Uh, and if it does, brilliant. Um, so, I'll stop my rambling because I tend to ramble. And um, I'm also posting at the same time as this my vlog video to let you all know what's happening, what's coming up. Um, and if you like that kind of stuff, just um, like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And then maybe do some more of them. Um, so guys, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me. You guys are awesome. I'm, I really mean it. Um, I wouldn't be doing all this stuff if it wasn't for you guys. I really wouldn't. Um, I mean, I do this stuff for free and just the, the appreciation from other people is, is what keeps me going. Um, so thanks a lot. I really mean it. Um, so guys, stay awesome. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks very much.